gem. Don't remember, Indian Goose was... I think Goose the Spy? Goose the Spy and... Indian Lark, I think? Cannot remember Goose, Indian Goose's parents at all, but... On that note, we're gonna go ahead and retire. Cosby Disco, you have served us well, my friend. I think you will be a great stud. Nah, I'm not gonna save this horse. Retire, yes. So now we're back down to two. Indian Goose and... Poor Courtney. So we'll use Cosmic Disco, which he got to a 90 at his top, which is decent. Cruel Power, she was only a 72. So we'll use these two. Indian Goose is ready to go again, so let's get him going again. Keeping them in opens, avoiding any graded staked races. Um, 12 and a half in April. It's a little late, but top three go to the Azalea Cup. For Courtney, try her again, 7 to 10. We'll just try her in this 8. Actually, let's see. Is there another race next week? Put her in. Actually, we'll run her now. By the time she's ready to run that next eight for a long race, she'll be back in the blue. So, good stuff. All right. So, I think I'm going to run these last two races with these two. And then that'll be it for this recording session, which would have officially went to two hours. Which, right now, if I chop these videos into 15-minute parts, which is probably my plan, that's at least enough content for you guys for eight days. Um, like I said, I want to aim for two weeks, but... I think I'll aim, I'll just aim to do these and then I'll continue to record. Long shot here with Courtney, Courtney, excuse me. Small field, field of seven, so space should virtually not be an issue. worrying about space. I feel really boxed in and I don't like it. I don't like it. So I'm really hoping those horses in front like really pan out or something. It's a feeling boxed in. I do not like it. Alright. We got space which is good. Alright, got space. Well, let's see how she does. Stamina is dropping. Quick! My goodness. Is this as good as you can do, Courtney? Apparently it is. We just missed getting fifth. Golly. Still got a money finish. This is about as best as we could do with that. Is what it is. So one more race. One more race here. It should be Indian Goose. He's not racing all the way till April. That's quite a bit of time. So maybe actually two more races. It's four court and she can go again. Runner here. So I don't know. Actually, I'm not gonna tell you how many races are left. I'm definitely gonna wait till after Indian Goose does his race. Then that's when we'll call it. So that could be two or three from now. Better odds here today. Same distance. Don't know what changed that. Short field again. I'm liking the short field. Hopefully they continue to stay this way. So let's see what we can do. record for my other channel too, which I have not recorded for, I think in a week, which is kind of crazy.
Okay. We're looking okay right now. Mid pace, 47 to adapt. Look like we got good space, so. We'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait. Now we're gonna go. Just gonna whip her once just to get her really going. Another one. Another one. Now we gotta go crazy. Just gotta get into the money. Come on, come on, come on. Are you kidding me? Still not up at... Ugh. Dude. That's fifth, isn't it? No, oh, sixth. Wow. May have to get her spurs start a little bit sooner. She doesn't have the speed. She doesn't have quite the speed that I would like. Darn it, man. So close. So, 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 so close. What are you about like a neck? We need to win money. I feel like we've kind of hit in a dry spell here. I mean, I was going to retire Cosmic Disco regardless. I know he was bringing in our money. Benny and Goose as well. So let's see. Can we get her in one more race? No. Any Goose is purple now. Why are you purple? Oh, because he hasn't raced in a while. Well, this will be the last race anyways. See, that's what I don't want. That's why I'm waiting to breed Cosmic Disco and Cruel Power until, like, May. Because it's only been two months, and he's... Look at this. Look at this. Nine... We are the long shot of long shots. Are you kidding me? And we have a 40-pound handicap. I'm positive that did not pop up. Or maybe I thought it said top whatever go to the Azalea Cup or whatever cup. And I didn't actually read it. Maybe it was like, no, your horse is going to be 40 pounds overweight. Ah. That's probably what it was, and I just wasn't paying attention. Again, this is what happens when you're running on a little sleep and no fuel. No food. I can function, yes, but am I functioning at my true capacity? Not even close. <laughs> That's the thing. You'll be like, oh, just imagine if you had to survive. It's like, dude, obviously, if I have to survive, I'm in survival mode. I gotta function how I gotta function. But when it comes to just missing little stuff like that, yeah. Lack of sleep and a lack of food will definitely do that to you. I mean, bodies. Our bodies can handle a lot. They can survive, but if they're not meant to function at their best capacities for a long term without proper rest and without proper fuel, aka food. So, you don't wanna make a habit of that, obviously. Like some people wear that as a badge of honor. It's like, yeah, if you gotta do some type sort of specific training, if you're doing an exam or something, obviously you're gonna sacrifice nights, maybe a couple of weeks of sleep. Um, your appetite may not be the best, but that shouldn't be like a long term monthly thing. Like then it becomes a chronic condition, a chronic health concern. And that, that's not what you want ultimately. So, alright, let's get going now. 2.4 furlongs. We're gonna try to shoot this gap, but we are going nowhere with it. We're, we're actually going backwards. We're actually going backwards. Carrying 40 pounds. And, yeah. I don't want to end on that note. That's a sour note to end on. It's a really sour note to end on. But at the same time, I'm also hungry. And I'm like, yeah. I, I might be able to end on that note. <laughs> for me, it's getting quicker to get some food in my system. I've been recording for two hours, though. Today is Sunday I'm recording. This video will be uploaded on Monday. Or, no, this video won't be uploaded until, like, next week, actually. We lost 240 points. You see, you don't want that. I don't want to end on that note. So, for Courtney, let's see. We can get in the money. Nine furlongs. Runner. All right. We'll have to redeem ourselves with Indian Goose another time. But, Courtney, we at least need to try to get into the money here. We're the favorite. All right. Field of 12. Let's win this, please. Let's make sure we got space. If I got to go outside, I will go outside. I'm not even going to mess with the inside traffic nonsense that usually happens. If there's not a gap there, a pretty clear one that I can get, I am just going to go to the outside. Good start, though. Really good start. Um, let's see where she settles in. And I don't care if she even wants to run a little bit further up. That's fine. Blue. All right. This is this is lit. This is pretty darn ideal. This is exactly what I want. Not only are we in good position, halfway um, in the midfield, we're 
also at most only going to be four wide on the outside with no one to block us. Now this horse ahead of us may swing. That's Grand Park, the horse that's basically to our 12 o'clock. That horse may swing a little out, but I mean that's not going to be a problem. Like I don't have to worry about anybody else to my right. Like I said, that horse is going to swing. That's fine. Um, in fact, this gap is still here for us. Now let's go. Trying to save her stamina a little bit. Okay, you got a kick. You got a kick, Courtney. You got a kick. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, she has no speed. Oh, that's a killer. She has no speed, really. That is a... Oh, man. She has no speed. She has no speed. I could have gotten going sooner, but I was, I'm worried about her stamina. I, I could have gotten her going sooner. You can always get a horse going sooner, but you got to worry about whether or not they're even going to make it. Her stamina's not great. I mean, it's it's 66. It's not great. But golly, that's two races where she was the favorite. We don't get the win. Those are sour notes I don't want to end on. The money we get for that, we just lost. Oh, man, Courtney, you are, you are hurting me here. She, she has no speed. Huh. 11 and a half for Indian Goose. Okay, I'm paying attention to the weight this time. Grade 3? I don't... Why are we so... Coming out with these huge handicaps. Grade 2? I'm not even going to attempt that. Can we run in this one? Finally. 123. Relatively normal. These should be the last two races. Regardless of where we perform. We should have better projected odds for both horses, which means we'll probably finish in better places. The favorite again with Fort Courtney. Can we win? I got to get her going sooner. I know her spurt is slow, but golly, like, I don't know if she has the stamina to get started much sooner than where I've been starting her. That's that's my concern. I know she takes a minute, and I know she doesn't have great flat-out speed, but, you know, I don't want to start her too early. And then she doesn't even have enough to get to the wire. That That's my concern, so my major concern. Alright, she's in the blue. We're the favorite. It's a full field, and it looks like we're going to have to take an outside trip. I don't like this already. I do not like this. I feel like this is going to be another bad result unless we're fortunate and something crazy shape, shapes up here. So I'm going to get her moving right now. Maybe we can duck to the inside. Maybe we can. Okay, i got to get her going now. 2.7. Oh, I don't know where the gap is going to free up. I cannot tell. Okay, I'm going to have to move here. Move here. Come on. Punch. Punch through. Come on, Courtney. Get through there. Finally, breaks are made in. Finally. 2.7, eh? You see, though, she barely got up there. We just got up there to win. We just got up there to win. So you see, even though starting sooner did help. Oh, man. It's like... Ay, ay, ay. Like, we barely... I mean, that, that's by a neck, basically. We barely got up there to win. Barely. She does not have that flat-out speed at all. She does not, unfortunately. So, yeah, 2.7, 2.8, basically. And I got to hope... That we're the favorite. Because if we're not the favorite, I don't know if we're winning that. I'm not sure. We needed that. Desperately. We desperately needed that win. Okay. Indy now. This is going to be the last race. Regardless of where we finish. Because at least we broke for Courtney's maiden. Which I told you. We would get our win. We're going to get more wins with her. We just have to start sooner. And again, the long shot here today with Indy and Goose. I don't like this. Like I said, I'm keeping this horse. Until uh, he's probably seven years old. As long as I mean, we're able to finish in the money, there's really no point in keeping him if we're not winning. Because if we're not winning, we're just paying money to keep a horse that's not giving us any earnings back in return. So if we can't finish in the money, then I'm going to need to consider retiring him sooner rather than later. Because like I said, we'll just be paying to keep him, and that's it. 
we'll be literally giving the game money to keep this horse, and we're not actually getting any of that money back by winning. We're placing, I should say. Finishing the top five is, is, is always the main goal. To make sure we are covering our expenses. If we can't even get in the top five with this horse anymore, then yeah, we're going to have to retire him. I will use him for breeding, though, because I mean, his stamina is 83. That's pretty darn decent. That's the best horse I've had with stamina so far. So, I will keep him for that. And maybe we can find a decent distance horse to breed with him. We can get a horse with some really fantastic stamina. I don't know how this is going to go. No handicap here today, so... Yeah, this is a tough one. A tough one. We're not going to get anywhere. We ran that as about as best as we could. The field was close. Put your hands down. We didn't win anything. I don't always celebrate when we lose. If I want to win, it's like I never do it. And then when I lose, I unintentionally press the button. Why does that happen? Anyways. We'll take that for what it is. Yeah. I mean, we can't have too many more non-money finishes with Indian Goose. So, I think we'll race him one more time. If he doesn't finish, we'll retire him. And in fact, I'll probably look for a cheap mare right now. Or a filly that will make a mare. Forever Beat. Do you have a good stem? She has okay. Actually, this is a pretty decent three-year-old. I mean, racing-wise, long-term, she wouldn't be much. But she's actually okay. And she only costs 3300 or 3100 Real page 8100. Nah. So, yeah, forever beat. So, we got her. Can we race her now? I keep saying it's going to be the last race. I don't know how many episodes in this is. She's actually a pretty solid horse. Uh, she's only going to have one more really good year, anyways. But, um, I mean, her star rating isn't bad 7 to 10 furlongs. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we can run her nine for longs. So let's go ahead and do it. Run her nine. Record these ready to go.